These designs, which are on the inside of both of these shoes, these are designs specifically related to Kiowa cradle boards. Kiowa cradle boards are um, well known because they are fully beaded and they have incredibly intricate designs on them. Um, we have a, a, a word, um, the odd day. The odd day is the favorite child, right? The favorite child. Uh, an odd day traditionally is a chosen child, usually by a, parents will cho choose an odd day, grandparents can choose an odd day, an aunt can choose an odd day, and they choose the child and they will give them everything. And I started thinking about it after my son was born. That's when I really started thinking about what is this odd day? Why on earth would Kaiwas do this thing where they like pick out this one child and everybody else has got to suffer to this one child? Like what on earth is that about? And so I did several pieces about it because I had just had this child that was, is an odd day. And I thought I really need to process, <laughs> process this one as a mother. And I realized if one child out of many was given everything, the survival rate maybe of that one child was higher, that one would make it. So the odd day is an important thing. It's an important thing and I think it has to do with, I think it has to do with survival and the value we place on our children, the, that without them, we don't exist. And so that is part of what I wanted to put on these shoes was to have sort of the legacy of the child and the importance of the child and how a woman would see her place in terms of, of relating to that child and, the, and that, that most Kiowa thing, that Kiowa cradle board, that that kind of value would be placed for a child, not a man, not a woman, not a warrior, but to a child. And so that's why this design is on the inside of the story about these women. So these women were the, the makers of some of our most finest objects that are continued to be collected in museums all across the world. And not only that, these women were, um, were thinking in the abstract. The designs were not pictorial representations. The pictorial representations were up to the men. They abstracted the world. They did it in hide and paint initially. And then when they got beads and new technology, they started doing it with beads. And so that's specifically what the issues are about, is the contribution that uh, women uh, painters have made to contemporary art, native women painters.